Aloha everyone, this is Max with Asian Geek Squad and today we're showing you navigation and customization with your Fitbit Lux. In this video, you'll see me flicking my wrist a lot because there isn't an always on display option. There is a way to leave the display on a little bit longer and we'll show you that later on in the video. So every time it comes off, I'll just have to flick it like that. You can also turn on the display by double tapping the screen. Alright, let's show you how to get around the Fitbit Lux. This is your home screen and this is the watch face that I currently have. If you tap the watch face, it'll give you different stats. So heart rate, calories, distance, active minutes, and steps. If you swipe left or swipe right, you can access your apps. Now there aren't too many apps for this watch. We have notifications, exercise, relax, alarms, and timers. And at any point, if you ever want to go home, just double tap the screen. Try that again. If we swipe down, we get our quick settings. Here we have do not disturb, sleep mode, screen wake, water lock, and settings. And from here, if you want to go home, you can either swipe from the left or double tap and that'll bring you home. I have do not disturb mode on and basically this mutes all of your notification, goals, reminders, and all of that stuff. You can just turn that off and on. If it's highlighted like this, that means it's on. Sleep mode pretty much does the same thing, except there's a couple more functions. So one, do you see the screen? It got a little bit dimmer. So it changes the screen brightness to dim. Next step, the screen stays dark. So even if you flick your wrist at night or if you're moving around, the screen will stay off. However, you can still turn it on by double tapping the screen. A little bit of difference with the dimness of the screen. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn off sleep mode and turn on do not disturb mode. You cannot have both at the same time because it kind of does the same thing. All right, next up is screen wake. I have it on auto and basically that just means it turns on when you flick your wrist. If you want to turn it off, you can. And this means it will just be manual. So anytime you want to turn on the screen, you'll have to double tap the screen. Alright, so I'll go ahead and turn that on auto. Next up is water lock mode, and this is if you're going to go swimming or take a shower. You can turn this on so your display isn't triggered by the water. And finally, here we have settings, and I'll do this before we do our watch faces because there are a couple of settings and I want to go more in depth with that. In case you're checking out your quick settings, you can go home by swiping from the left or just double tapping the screen. So, so far, we've covered our apps and we've covered our quick settings. All right, next up we'll swipe up and here you'll see your information. So we have our battery life and speaking of battery life, it's 749 and we are at 76%. The battery is a little bit lower because I did have to switch phones. This was connected to the Note 20 Ultra. Now it's connected to the iPhone 12 Pro. But considering that it's almost two full days of use and our battery is at 76%, that's pretty good. And here are my current stats number of steps, distance, active minutes, calories, hourly activity, heart rate, sleep, exercise, and if you want to go home, you can just swipe from the left, or you can also double tap the screen, and that'll bring you back to your home screen. All right, before we go into watch faces, let's go ahead and go over settings. The first one here is your display settings. You can switch this to normal, max, or dim. I leave it at normal, I th think that's bright enough. So if you put it on dim, that'll definitely affect your battery life. Or if you want to conserve battery, you can also switch it to dim. Screen wake, we did that earlier. Screen time out, you can change it to long, medium, or default. However, you can't keep the screen on all the time. And since we've been doing it as default, let's go ahead and just leave it as default. Alright, so that is your display settings. To move back a screen, go ahead and swipe. And now we have quiet modes. You can turn on do not disturb, sleep mode, and exercise focus. Exercise focus means you do not get notifications while you're exercising. Swipe, let's go back. Heart rate, you can turn this off and on if you want to conserve battery. Heart zone notifications, so if it knows you're exercising, it'll give you a, a notification. And vibrations strong, normal, and those are your two options. And you have your device info and restart. 
Restart is in case your Fitbit Lux is acting up. And device info, here you can actually reset the device if you want to connect it to another phone. You would just use this option here, clear user data. We've gone over quick settings, we've gone over applications, and we've gone over your information here. All right, now let's check out some watch faces. To switch your watch faces, we will need to use your application on your phone. Go ahead and open up your Fitbit application, tap on your device. We will tap on clock faces. Here is the watch face we're currently using. And let's go ahead and tap on all clocks. So here are the different ones that are available. And if there's one you want to see specifically that I don't cover, go ahead and just send us, go ahead and just send me a message on Twitter and I'll reply with the photo of the Fitbit. So there aren't too many. So we have four, eight, 12, 16, 20. 20 different watch faces, which actually isn't too bad. Most of them have digital time. Now let's go ahead and try a couple. So first let's try magazines, Magazine C. Once you tap a watch face, it'll also show you the different screens here. So we have the date, steps, water lock, and steps. So this is how Magazine C looks. Pretty accurate, I would say. So we have steps, heart rate, and the date. All right, now let's try ice cream for those of you who are step focused. And I'll just fast forward through the installation process. It does take about a minute, maybe a, a little bit less. All right, this one is ice cream. And all it has here is the date at the top, the time, and a circular parameter with your step count. All right, that one is not my favorite, but it's there as a choice. All right, this one is called Split. Oh, pretty cool, pretty futuristic. So this one is called Playful. I can see this being useful if you want your heart rate accessible while you're running without having to, without having to look for your heart rate data. So that's pretty much it. All it has is the time and your current heart rate. All right, guys, that's a quick video of navigation, quick settings, apps, and watch faces with your Fitbit Lux. If you guys have any questions, leave us a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Aloha. <laughs>